Hi guys, this is Andy. Uh, today I want to show you uh, the parts I already uh, received from a very very first uh, FPV racing wing uh, which, will, which will be uh, 48 inch uh, sweepstakes chucking out a, a racing wing. I think uh, there are a lot of good racing wings out there. I choose that one because of uh, the very very good support from Ruben. Thank you uh, at this point to him. Uh, he was supporting me a lot uh, and I was asking a lot of questions too so let me start with uh, let me start with the motor so I'm using a Turnigy S key 3 motor uh, which is you know compared to the Cobras I'm using <laughs> I would say a big block so so heavy and looks very very solid so in this case it's uh, a 35 for a two, 1250 kV motor, which gives uh, the wing the power of uh, maximum 755 watts, uh, seems to be a lot. So uh, what I need to say is all the setups I'm showing is uh, uh, for a racing wing, so nothing to cruise around a bit. Uh, the next thing what I want to show you is uh, the ESC. The ESC is very interesting as well. It's much larger, of course, <laughs> as I'm using for uh, a racing copter. Look at this one. So it's an 85, uh, uh, it's an 85 ampere uh, ESC. Very, very big uh, compared to the normal to the normal stuff I'm using for a quad. Of course, we have four pieces at the quad, but just the size, if you look, it's quite different. This is the ESC and the motors and the lipos as well. If you look to the lipos, uh, I'm using I'm using a 4S lipo, uh, uh, which is a Turnigy as well uh, with 65C rate and 3.7 milliampere compared to what I'm normally using is a 2 lipo 4S as well with 1550 and 75C rate so heavy as well everything is much more heavier but a 4 8 inch uh, racing wing much more larger uh, compared to the compared to the, the copters I'm using as well, uh, uh, Ruben has proposed I should use as a maximum uh, 9 to 6 prop like that one. In this case, it is an APC prop uh, from the US, so a very large thing. It looks like that one. Of course, what is needed is uh, uh, we need two servos um, for the ailerons. In this case, I'm using this Hextronic MG14 which gives me about 2.2 kilogram per centimeter power this should be enough uh, for the wing. Uh, the other part I'm using uh, for the FPV is still the same as I'm using I'm using for, for my quad, for my racing quad so normally inversion C VTX uh, uh, in run cam, FPV cam, uh, and I'm using my standard uh, uh, Kraupner remote control. So uh, I will keep you updated and uh, just drop me a line if you have questions. So I am pretty new in, in, in a racing wing, so it's the first time for me, uh, except large planes, uh, to fly uh, such a racing wing. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So as soon as I'm getting uh, the wing itself, I will do some videos as well how I built that together. It seems to be uh, this will be a long challenge, so uh, you have to do everything manually. <coughs> the EPP, some information as well. The, the wing itself, it's the material is an EPP, a very strong one covered with a 5 milli, uh, uh, millimeter uh, uh, laminate. Uh, fold and uh, it seems to be so it's pretty new I would say in Aus not in Austria, in Europe <coughs> to use a racing wing uh, at the moment the standard is 48 
48 inch uh, size wing which is 1.2 meters uh, pretty large uh, of course there will be some smaller wings like uh, 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 37 inch wings and smaller one 2.6 inch and all categories are for sure good for racing so my thing is uh, I will start with the 38 inch and uh, see how this feels uh, if you have a racetrack <coughs> and race with that uh, as far as I know a lot of people are using smaller one I will try that as well uh, and keep you updated okay thank you for watching